Well, let me answer, answer this question in a couple of different phases. The first phase I would say is, it looks to me that given the conventional modeling that five or eight years ago we were using to say the world was heading to four or five C, using that same modeling and applying, you know, an, an evolving understanding of the energy mix of the present and the future, I think we have to say that we're in a better position than we were in five or 10 years ago. And that actually the progress has been quite significant. You know, those mo those same models, which used to tell us business as usual was going to bring us to four or five degrees of warming by the end of the century. They now tell us that we're heading to somewhere between two and a half and three degrees of warming this century. Now, not all of that is because we've made rapid progress with renewables, although that's part of it. It's also because we've adjusted some of our assumptions about the way that the world's going to evolve. And in any event, these are all models which are you know, shrouded in large degrees of uncertainty and which we should take with a grain of salt. And that's the second point that I would make, which is personally, I've become much more preoccupied with and focused on how little we know about the future. Mm -hmm. You know, five or eight years ago, when I was really first digging into all of this material, I felt like I could look at these charts and then they gave me a pretty good sense of what to expect. I could say, if we end up on this emissions trajectory, we'll end up at this temperature level. And that temperature level implies this amount of additional heat waves and this amount of additional droughts and this amount of additional crop failures and flooding and wildfire and all the rest of it. And I feel like each of the steps along that intellectual pathway, I'm much more cautious about making now than I was then. Um, I don't really know <clears throat> how much we can trust any of these particular emissions pathways. A lot of them have social and political assumptions built into them, which I didn't fully appreciate at the time, which are, I think, quite hard to defend now. Um, you know, things like massive population growth with no economic growth or the inverse. Um, you know, famously, the, the high end business as usual scenario was um, a 21st century completely dominated by coal. And anyone who really knew the energy system, even, you know, six or eight years ago, would have told you that that was quite um, pessimistic as a projection for the 21st century. Um, you know, I would say now, um, you know, when it comes to many of these, when it comes to these models, we have to say, okay, to the extent that we put inputs in, yes, they're telling us we're in a better place now. We're probably looking at something more like three degrees rather than four degrees to some degree that deserves um, celebration. Um, but it also reminds us how far we are from the goals that we set for ourselves not that long ago when we were aiming for 1.5 to two.